Have you ever wondered why introverts behave the way they do? Introversion, a facet of our personality, is often misunderstood, yet it plays a crucial role in shaping our behavior, thought processes, and interactions. It's not just about being quiet or reserved. It's a complex interplay of cognitive, emotional, and social elements that make us who we are. Introversion is a fascinating topic, rich in scientific intrigue, that can help us understand ourselves and others better. It's about the energy we draw from solitude, the depths of our internal world, and our unique way of processing experiences. In this journey, we'll delve into the psychology behind introversion, explore the neuroscience that sets introverted brains apart, debunk common misconceptions, and highlight the power of introverted traits. We'll also discuss the introvert-extrovert spectrum, emphasizing that our personalities aren't binary, but rather a beautiful blend of various traits. So buckle in as we begin our journey into the science of introversion. Now let's dive into the psychology behind introversion. When we talk about introverted temperament, we're referring to a natural inclination towards introspection and a preference for solitude. Introverts tend to feel energized when they spend time alone, allowing them to recharge and reflect on their thoughts. However, this doesn't mean they always avoid social situations. They just prefer more intimate gatherings ones that allow for meaningful connections and thought-provoking conversations. Now let's touch on cognitive processing. You see, introverts and extroverts process information differently. Introverts tend to ponder over things carefully before they speak or act. This is due to their highly active prefrontal cortex, the part of the brain responsible for decision-making and problem-solving. In other words, introverts are deep thinkers who prefer to fully understand a situation before they engage with it. This brings us to the concept of energy drain associated with social interaction. You might have heard of the term social battery being used to describe this phenomenon. Introverts, unlike their extrovert counterparts, expend energy during social interactions. Picture it like this. If social interactions were a marathon, extroverts would be the runners gaining momentum as they go along, while introverts would be the ones needing regular water breaks to keep going. It's not a matter of capability, but rather how their energy is used and replenished. So, when introverts retreat to their sanctuaries of solitude, it's not because they dislike people or are antisocial. It's because they need to recharge their social batteries. This time alone allows them to process their experiences, reflect and regain their energy. Introverts are not just shy individuals who prefer to stay in the background. They are thinkers, observers and often creators. They have a unique way of interacting with the world, which may not always align with societal norms or expectations. But this is what makes them unique and invaluable. As you can see, introversion is much more than just a preference for solitude. Ready for a deeper dive? Let's explore the neuroscience of introversion. Our brains are intricate networks of billions of neurons working together to shape who we are. In the realm of introversion and extroversion, Neuroscience plays a pivotal role. It all comes down to how our brains process stimuli and respond to social situations. When we think of stimuli, we often think of the external world, sights, sounds, people and places. But for introverts, stimuli can also be internal, like thoughts, emotions and memories. Introverted brains are designed to focus on this inner world. They are wired to turn inwards, to introspect and reflect. This inward focus is largely due to the activity in the frontal lobe, the part of the brain associated with planning, problem solving and decision making. It's no wonder then that introverts are often deep thinkers, capable of profound insight and creativity. In contrast, extroverted brains are more responsive to external rewards and experiences. They lean towards the dopamine fueled excitement of the outside world, thriving on social interaction and novelty. The dopamine pathway, which is more active in extroverts, is associated with pleasure, reward, and motivation. When it comes to social situations, introverts and extroverts indeed respond differently. While extroverts may feel energized by socializing, introverts often find it draining. This isn't because introverts don't enjoy socializing, but rather, their brains are more sensitive to the influx of stimuli that comes with it. This sensitivity is linked to the reticular activating system or RAS, which controls arousal and alertness. In introverts, the RAS tends to react more strongly, leading to a sense of being overwhelmed in highly stimulating environments. 
This is why introverts often prefer calm, quiet spaces where they can focus and reflect. So what does all this mean? Simply put, introverts and extroverts have different neurological landscapes. The way they interact with the world, their preferences and their behaviors are all rooted in these fundamental brain differences. Science shows us that introversion and extroversion are indeed wired into our brains. This understanding enables us to appreciate the diversity of human behavior and to recognize that there is no right or wrong way to be. It's all about finding the balance that works for you. Now, it's time to debunk some common misconceptions about introversion. Let's dive right in, shall we? Firstly, it's a myth that all introverts are shy. Shyness is about fear of social judgment, while introversion is more about how one responds to social stimulation. While an extrovert might get energized by a bustling party, an introvert might find the same situation draining. They may prefer quieter, more intimate settings, but it doesn't mean they're afraid of socializing. Another common misconception is that introverts are antisocial. This couldn't be further from the truth. Introverts are not against social interaction. They simply require a different kind of social engagement. Introverts tend to prefer deep, meaningful conversations over small talk. They value quality over quantity when it comes to their relationships. Many believe that introverts always want to be alone, but introversion is not about wanting to be alone all the time. It's about needing time alone to recharge after socializing. Introverts can enjoy being around people just as much as extroverts. They just need a balance between social and alone time. There's also a myth that introverts are aloof or unemotional, but introverts can be just as passionate and emotional as their extroverted counterparts. The difference lies in the way they express their emotions. Introverts may express their feelings in a less outwardly visible way, or they may choose to share their emotions with a select few people. Finally, the notion that introverts can't lead or be successful is a myth that needs busting. Some of the world's most successful leaders and innovators have been introverts. They bring unique strengths to the table, such as deep thinking, the ability to focus, and a strong sense of self. So, let's shift our perspective. Introversion is not about being shy, antisocial, or aloof. It's about how one derives energy, processes information, and interacts with the world. It's about depth of thought and a preference for meaningful interactions. Remember, introversion is not a flaw, but a different way of experiencing the world. Did you know that introversion and extroversion are not black and white? This is where the concept of the introvert-extrovert spectrum comes into play. It's a fascinating concept that paints a more accurate picture of our personalities. You see, the spectrum is like a sliding scale, and we all sit somewhere along this continuum. It's not a matter of being one or the other, but rather a combination of both. Some of us may lean more towards introversion, others might sway more towards extroversion. And then there are those who fall squarely in the middle, often referred to as ambiverts. The introvert-extrovert spectrum acknowledges the nuances of our personalities, understanding that we are not just a collection of labels, but multifaceted beings with our own unique mix of traits. It's a reminder that it's perfectly normal to have introverted traits one day and extroverted traits the next. Each of us is unique with our own blend of introverted and extroverted traits. Finally, let's celebrate the power of introverted traits. It's time we shed light on the unique strengths that introverts bring to the table, strengths that often go unrecognized in our extroverted world. Firstly, introverts are typically deep thinkers. They have a knack for diving into complex problems and unraveling them layer by layer. This ability to think profoundly allows them to grasp intricate concepts, see patterns that others might miss, and come up with innovative solutions. Secondly, introverts are often remarkably creative. Their preference for solitude and reflection can nurture a rich inner world, and it's from this wellspring of thoughts and ideas that creativity often emerges. Think of the introverted writers, artists, and inventors who have enriched our world with their imaginative creations. Moreover, introverts tend to have a great capacity for empathy. Their introspective nature often extends to their understanding of others. This capacity to empathize, to truly understand and share the feelings of others, is a powerful trait that can foster deep connections and meaningful relationships. But it doesn't stop there. Introverts also bring their unique contributions to the workplace. Their ability to focus, their penchant for detailed work, and their preference for quality over quantity can often lead to exceptional results. 
They may not be the loudest voices in the room, but their contributions can be just as, if not more, valuable. Yes, it's true that our society often celebrates extroverted traits like sociability, assertiveness and charisma, but it's important to remember that introverted traits like deep thinking, creativity and empathy are equally valuable. Each personality type brings its own set of strengths and skills, and it's the combination of these diverse traits that make our world so wonderfully diverse and dynamic. So, whether you're an introvert, an extrovert or somewhere in between, remember, your personality is your power.